Good morning, it's Melissa. Good to see you today. Let me get set up here. Oh, I don't know. There we go. Okay. I am in here today with Build a Better Bakery. If we've never met before. I'm Melissa. I'm the owner and min main mentor at Build a Better Bakery, where if you crave a joyful, successful business, right? Success is, is a ladder for everyone. Not everyone wants the same type of success, but if you know you want to be joyful and you know you want to feel good about what you're doing while running a baking business, you want to avoid the burnout. You want to stay true to yourself, which is super important. Make sure to join me for these live sessions, just like this one and any other resources that can help you because that's why we're here. We're here to make sure your baking business journey is a good one, right? We don't want anyone feeling upset about being a part of the baking industry. So we can hang out more. Go ahead and throw up your hashtag replay. If you're viewing this on the replay, I am just going to make sure that this is set up. Okay. Looks like I can see comments. So if you are here live, you can throw up your hashtag live and I can answer any questions you have today. Okay. Today's topic is all about the reasoning behind raising prices, right? So if I think a lot of times I would assume if I say, hey, are you going to raise your prices? Most times people focus on growing their personal income. They think, okay, well, I raise prices means I make more money. And that's kind of a one-to-one. -one. And that's not wrong, right? Usually you're going to raise your income as you're raising your prices. Um, but I will stop you here to say that thinking of it only in that way might actually allow you to deny yourself to raise the price or to make more income and then just keep your prices low. This is because we often don't take care of ourselves very well or first when we're thinking about baking. Baking is a lot of um, heartfelt, a lot of giving. There's just a different type of um, sometimes reasoning behind why we're baking. So if we think, oh, it'll just give us more money, some people don't really uh, have the heart to do it, if, if I can put it that way. But I want you to know, what if I told you there are many reasons to raise prices, but to better serve your clients? It's not going to be all about you just making more money and taking in and that's it, right? We want to build your business to be something better and raising your prices is the one of the first steps to getting that done if you have low prices in your business. Okay, we're going to cover the three benefits that I love the most in my current businesses. I do them in all three. And I think it's something you should know about, especially since we're getting into 2023. You might be thinking about raising prices. Uh, I suggest looking at it once a year, at least. January is a good time since it's a little bit of a break uh, from the baking holiday season. So definitely that's why we're talking about it today. And I'm here if you have questions about this. Note that I'm extending a bonus, a special bonus for the new year at the end of this. So you'll get the information about that too as well. Okay. Um, to stay and know about the lives, you can check the events here in the Bakery Business School group. You can add, you can send a friend request to Melissa Fryer on the Facebook platform. I can invite you to these lives via the platform that way. Or you can hang out on our free update email list where I send out replay links, other resources, et cetera. It's just kind of a, um, a place to get all the goodness, <laughs> but it's usually not about the lives. It'll be replay. So it depends on how you want the information delivered to you. I go live every Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right here in this group, and I often share via YouTube, all right? We're going to jump right in. Not going to take a ton of your time today. The number one thing that I love most about having profitable pricing and then rolling it into better benefits for my clients, as well as a higher income for me, I'm also bringing my clients along with me. I am um, any kind of situation in where you're giving back or slash customer appreciation. People love this, number one. They're obsessed when businesses do this. It's a, it's a fun, exciting thing. It opens people's eyes to your offers. It helps them feel like you're part of their community. It lets them know that you're thinking about them. But if you're not charging profitable prices, you're not building that into the pricing, right? So it would be difficult for you to do that without using your own money to do it. And to do that without using your own money to do it. And we all know that we work really hard and we probably deserve a living wage. Uh, so the whole point of this is trying to stop you from pulling out your own income from what you're doing to do these things for your business. We want to help your business do it for itself. And as I mentioned, it's a, just a lovely way to treat your clients. So a lot of people have ideas of what, what does your community want? 
what do your current clients love to do or what are they interested in, that would be a good place to start. So this could look like donating to certain organizations. This could look like giveaways, small gifts, maybe with each order, um, recognition of long-term long clients is a great one, et cetera. People who are you know, helping you with social uh, media stuff, commenting on your, being active in your groups, on your page, all of that, just recognizing people for being a part of your world. So what you wanna do is you want to make working with you amazing, memorable, and a feeling of caring coming from you as part of the experience of being your client. But we have to charge enough regularly to be able to pull some of those funds back into our customer appreciation uh, bank that we're gonna use to do that. And you know, it says, oh, I see, I need this, thank you. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna roll through these today. At the end, there's a bonus. And then if you have questions about this or you wanna talk more about pricing, you can comment on the video or you can send me a DM. Okay. Number two is investment in scaling. And this is again, totally unique to each person. You might not ever wanna scale. You might not want to ever hire people. That's okay. And that's totally reasonable. And I don't suggest hiring and scaling for everybody. So that's might not be the way you want to move into it. But thinking about investment, that's kind of for everybody. Because what we're doing is we're thinking about taking some of those additional funds from raising prices. Um, so you've covered your bills, you've paid your income. Now you have this extra money and you want to help your business invest in itself with its own profits, right? I call it the profit percentage when we're talking about the pricing formula. Um, and investment is a totally huge pool of opportunities. You probably have very specific opportunities where you live that not everyone else is going to have. So you'd have to look into what works best for you and what does your community offer to figure out what seems best to use those funds on. Um, it can look like many things, including getting new tools to help you work faster so you can serve more people, maybe even drop the price of products if you get a machine, um, like a huge mixer or an eddy printer or something that takes out a ton of labor time from a product. You could do that if you wanted to. I don't know if I suggest lowering prices, but maybe um, making things more affordable for your community if it's done in a very specific way with that new tool. That's an option. Um, maybe you actually literally want to invest in the stock market with funds from your business. Maybe you want to, um, and definitely talk to a tax, someone professional about that because I haven't done that. I do it with my personal money. I don't know if there's any weirdness about that. So not a, pro not a professional investor here, just bringing that up. <laughs> um, if you want to hire somebody, that's an interesting way to use extra funds. If you want to get coaching, like working in our elite program, doing you know, a monthly call with me to strategize for your business. If you have another group that you want to get coaching from in your area, being able to pay their fees, whatever it is to get help uh, in your corner as you're working through your business. Maybe you want to open a storefront or a food truck or something to expand, right? It's all an investment in serving your clients better. So if you can kind of flip the lens on this is all for me and realize that, hey, I'm sharing this with my clients. I'm sharing this with my community because I'm putting it back into things that are going to serve them better. I think it's going to be easier for you to use funds that way. And I think it's going to be more palatable to understand why a business would raise prices. Also, let's not forget about inflation, right? Sorry about that. And other reasons why you might need a couple more dollars to get things moving and stay in business. Because I think clients kind of understand your prices can't stay the same forever. That wouldn't make sense. No prices stay the same forever, right? Everyone raises their prices eventually. So what we're doing is we're just serving more clients better. That's what we're looking for. Okay. And then lastly, this one's a little more um, cerebral, but I want to share it because I think that it will help with the psychology of how your business sits in the market uh, to buyers, right? So it's the inherent value increase. It's been shown that more that the more that an item costs, the more valuable a person will view the item. And a quick example of something like this is, let's say you go to a store, you're looking at the aisle of packaged cupcakes. One cupcake is 50 cents and one cupcake is $4. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, the 50 cent cupcake is probably not made, it's probably made with all fake stuff and fillers and it's probably not very good. The $4 cupcake, I mean, it's probably made with real butter and there's probably real eggs and 
all of this, right? So you're immediately thinking the cheaper product is less valuable. You don't actually know, unless maybe you read the ingredients, you don't really know. You just feel like there's no way this 50 cent cupcake can really be good. So I want you to see that that's, it's just part of a psycho, uh, psychological kind of like hierarchy when you're looking at products and the value raises with the price. Um, and it's just the same as the cupcake or a t-shirt or, you know, your bakery products. So by raising the cost, you're helping your clients because you're funding other parts of your business to make their experience better, but you are also raising that inherent value. And yes, I often get this question. Yes, there is a push and pull of the market, right? It would be hard for you to sell a $300 cupcake. There's a market cap. There are spaces in which that might make sense. Let's say it's made completely of edible gold and there's something, I don't know, right? <laughs> a special spice in it and all of this stuff. Maybe in some world, there's a $300 cupcake, but there's more of a realistic market that maybe going above $12 is probably too much. I don't really know. We all live in different parts of the world, but there's kind of an area <laughs> to be in. And um, there's also buyer interest to deal with. So if it's a product that people don't want and they're not willing to pay for it because it's not valuable to them as in, inherently in itself, then it's going to be harder to charge more for that. So you do have to look at your market, kind of pay attention to what's going on um, as you're choosing those value-based prices, just like any other business, right? Every business has to do that. But I'm mentioning this because I don't want you to be fooled into thinking that you cannot shift value with your pricing. Because just because it's an edible product, a lot of people think, oh, well, it's edible. You know, there's, I really can only charge X amount of dollars. You can shift value. You just have to pay attention to the market and you have to pay attention to the interest of your buyers. All right. So don't be fooled. You can do it. And as we mentioned before, I just want to hit it home to be the, the blunt example of that cupcake on the shelf. A cheap product resonates with low quality. So if you're like one of the cheapest bakers in town, that's probably not a good place to be. I would prefer you be in the middle or at the very top, all the way to the very top so that you can start working with clients that respect you, essentially. So um, after you've raised these prices, let's say you haven't done it yet, or maybe you have done it, did you notice that you're going to shift into usually a better client group as in they now respect your time and your effort more by paying understanding and paying you a fair price. There's an interesting shift between not charging enough and who's working with you and then charging enough and who's working with you. Cause I've been in both groups. I have started in the bottom group, just like most of us do. There were some super interesting situations. Uh, I was not respected as a person or as a business owner. And I totally see that. And that rarely happens to me now. So I do think that there is some protection that comes from it in a roundabout psychological way. So if you're considering it, just know that likely um, you're going to receive some of that as well if you decide to up the prices in 2023. Hey, Tamara. Okay, that's it. So we covered giving back customer appreciation, rolling these increased funds in a way back to your clients in whatever way feels good to you. Number two is investment and scaling. So investing in some way, growing in some way, scaling in some way, again, doing it to better serve your clients. And then lastly, the inherent value increase is going to just create a more um, seamless business by bringing in clients that better resonate with the level in which you're serving and will likely create less stress down the road because you're kind of helping them self, um, self select because of the value that you've added with the pricing. Hopefully that opens a few doors that maybe you hadn't considered when you're thinking about, should I really do this or not? What's going to happen kind of thing. Those are the three of my most favorite benefits. Um, I adore them. I see them in both of my businesses. So it can be done really in any um, genre <laughs> of business. It doesn't have to be just baking. So if you have another business or you're involved in another business, you could also think of these as going along with that as well if you needed to, um, if you wanted to start looking at increasing prices. Okay, I know sometimes it's hard to get started with pricing. I hear it all the time. It's numbers, it's confusing. There's a lot of brain power that goes into it. It's, I'm not gonna say it's like the 
funnest thing in the world to crunch numbers, but it is so enlightening that I suggest it to anyone at least once a year to just look, just pick one product and price it and kind of see where is it. If that product is super like way more expensive to make than it was last year, you probably should look at other products. Um, if you have certain wholesale accounts going on, make sure you're looking at that because wholesale takes some of your profits away, right? When you're selling wholesale. So you have to be very specific about what that pricing is. I'm literally doing that right now. I did mine yesterday. Um, just keeping an eye on what's going on because it is empowering to know your numbers, but I know it's hard, right? I really do. So I'm adding a pricing bonus for the new year because I know some of you have been thinking about doing this. You might have seen our course online. It isn't cheap. Um, and I know some of you have said, I want to do it, but I don't have the money. I totally get it. So if you're looking forward to pricing profitably in 2023, I decided to set something up for you guys for a, a short period of time. If you are here, if you're watching, if you're engaged, you will see this and you will have the opportunity to take advantage of half off of the pricing course through January 8th. So literally, yes, 50% off. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I think it's kind of a big deal because I don't normally do this. Um, but it's just for you because I've been getting messages about this and I feel like <clears throat> if I can do anything to help, I will, I will give you certain opportunities throughout the year to take advantage because I know how it is and I want to help. So what you'll do is you'll use code price 2023. So price 2023 on our teachable site for our full pricing for profit course. It's got hours of video. It's got charts that you fill in. It walks you through a five piece formula. Um, it's got lots of other supporting information about transitioning and moving and starting in a new area and taxes and psychology of pricing and all those little nitty gritties that you don't normally hear about that actually really affect pricing. That's in there as well. Um, it's lifetime access once you get enrolled. It's a pretty good deal. And it also comes with a free month in the elite mentorship program. So you can enroll in the pricing course and then you can join the program for at least 30 days and ask questions in there. Um, watch all of the hours and hours and hours of vault content covering tons of baking business topics in there as well as an extra bonus inside of the pricing course. So it's really kind of just this sweet little bundle of goodness. If you're ready to look into pricing, give yourself a little gift this year with, for your business, all that good stuff. That's what I have set up for you. Um, it's on the Teachable site, which is separate from our website. So you can click on it via the courses tab on the website itself, or I can send you a DM with the link if you want to look at the courses on the Teachable site. Super easy. Just let me know. You're just going to input that price 2023 code to get half off of the pricing course. Okay. Uh, the replay will be available in the group just as soon as I log off here, if you're talking about this session. And then I usually, if I have time, I have to actually go on a trip. So I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but usually I take that replay and I post it in the event um, in the group. Sometimes I don't, but it's by the same name as a, uh, like in a pin post or in the thread on the main group. So it should be available immediately. Okay. That's it for me today. I hope that helped you get a better idea of how pricing can build your business besides just making more income. And always thank you for hanging out with me here. <clears throat> you can post in the group whenever you want. It's completely open, ready for you, drama-free, inclusive, um, full of who I consider some of the best bakers around, okay? And we're always here to help discuss things, what's going on with you, give you some thoughts or brainstorm with you. Always love to do that. You can send me a direct DM here on the platform if you need some extra help, you want resource links, you want that teachable link for the pricing course, um, you want to talk about how do we set up a call together. That's all super easy. I can send over to you. And our website has tons of resources on it as well that you can look through. That's buildabetterbakerynow.com. Okay. Cheers to y'all. I'm looking forward to talking to you again. I think the next time will be in 2023. So hope you have a good New Year's. Stay safe. And thank you for hanging out. I'll see you later.